What is up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. With the latest One UI 6.1 upgrade, Samsung added a brilliant feature on phone application on all the Galaxy phones which have got this One UI 6.1 upgrade. In this video, I wanna talk about the same, but before we go ahead, if you're interested in this beautiful looking wallpaper, the link is in the description for you guys to download. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. You can check out all my previous videos to download those wallpapers if you like them. And uh, a tap on the subscribe button would be great. Uh, you can become a part of Apex community to learn more about your Galaxy phones, Android phones, the tablets, and anything related to technology. I do post update related videos and tips and tricks for your phone so go ahead you get to learn a lot so subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative now let's go ahead let me tap on my phone application i will tap on contacts here now this is my profile i will tap on this right on top here you can see we have got an option create profile card create a profile card that can be shared with your contacts. Let's go ahead and tap on create profile card. Now here we can select an image for our profile from the gallery or we can uh, select any of the colors here or you can take a picture by tapping on this camera icon. You can take a selfie and add the image to your profile. Now let me go ahead with the one that I have here already. Now this is how it is gonna look when I call somebody on their Samsung Galaxy phone. Now again, this feature is something which was there on the iOS. That works seamlessly between the iPhones. When you make a call from an iPhone to another iPhone, the other person will be able to see that profile card right there on their screen. And now with the One UI 6.1 upgrade, we got this feature on the Galaxy phones and Samsung has added many customization options for the profile card here. On the top, we've got change profile card and done option. Then we have got this image here, which I've selected and I can tap on portrait studio to go ahead and further customize this. I'll tap on this. You can see I can transform this profile picture into a cosmic 3D cartoon, watercolor or sketch. Just in case if you want to do that, you can go ahead. Let me just tap on Cosmic here. I'll tap on Generate. Now Samsung has integrated uh, AI into this. This is the Cosmic image that I've got. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I got my beard on and my hairstyle and it's looking kind of cool here. Just in case if you want to uh, customize something like this, you can do that. Let me tap on 3D Cartoon here and tap on Generate. This is a 3D Cartoon, which again looks pretty cool. I am actually in love with these options that we get. We can generate it again. We can have watercolor and sketch image as well. Let me try sketch here. I'll generate some sketch images. <laughs> looks pretty cool, isn't it? These are the sketches of my photo, my portrait photo, which have been created by AI. Of course, this requires internet connection, so you have to make sure you have turned on your uh, data plan or your uh, Wi-Fi on to get that processed on the cloud. Now let me keep the image as it is. Now at the bottom, we have got a couple of more options. We have got text option and effect option. Let me try effects now. Uh, as you can see, we will be able to select the effect here. This effect was already selected earlier. I can swipe towards the left or right to select different effects. We can change the background as well. As you can see, this is the uh, black and white background we have got and the image, uh, the subject is in color. This is the black and white, the grayscale, and we have blur option, the background blur and actually it is not looking that great. For some reason, the background blur is not looking good. Original, this is the original image. Let me go with the uh, one that I selected earlier. This one looks pretty cool. The background has got a cool effect here. Let me select this. I'll just go back here. Now we cannot edit the text here. It would have been great if we had an option to edit the text right here, but this is your contact name that you have saved on the phone application. So that will remain the same. If you want to change this, you have to go back and change the name there on your contact and then come back here to edit this. Now let me keep this as it is. I can increase the bold effect on the font. As you can see, we've got this slider here and we, can, uh, we have got a couple of options for the font style here. Uh, it would have been great if we had more options. We just have uh, four options here and we can change the colors of the text as well. Uh, depending on the background, let me keep it in maybe a dark option here. Okay, this looks fine. Now I can just tap on done here. And when you tap on preview, you'll be able to see the preview here. Your image will be cropped to a square so it will fit the widest screen sizes when it's shown on other people's devices. On most phones, it will appear narrower. So if you are uh, making a call on, let's say on a flip device, the receiver will see this particular screen on their device and on a slab phone, this is how it's gonna look. Now this is the whole process, but if you have done this, your profile card is not gonna show up on the other device when you make a call because you have not enabled sharing of this profile card yet. Let me tap on done here. 
Now you will see this option profile card and picture right here on top. Let me tap on this. Now you can see set a profile card and picture that can be shared with others. People can see your contact profile and card when you call them or when uh, they view your contact information. So you have to enable this option share profile card and picture. You can share it with contacts only or you can share it with everyone uh, who has got a Samsung Galaxy phone. They will be able to see your profile card even if they have not saved your contact. And we also have a couple of options here, refresh contact list and we have got a couple of more options here. And Portrait Studio is right here at the bottom. This feature is powered by Photo Assist. Tap here to turn it on or off. Let me tap on this. Now, if you do not want this Photo Assist option while creating your profile card, you can just disable this. This option will not come up during this entire process. So that is how we do this. Now let's go ahead and make a call uh, to another number and let's see how the profile card looks. As you can see, when I make a call to somebody, this is how it's going to look and the other person will also be able to share, uh, see your contact, your profile uh, card right there on the screen. Now on my wife's phone, the contact, uh, the profile card has been created. So this is how uh, she has created it. So this is how it looks. And my profile card should also look similar to this on the other phone. So you have to make sure that the share profile card and picture has been enabled and it is shared with everyone or the contacts that you're calling and make sure you refresh the contact list. The other person will also have to refresh their contact list so that this profile card can get synced on all the devices. That's about it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know whether you have already created a contact card on your Galaxy phone. Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.